I'm Amy Cherry. If you see a sign for legal weed, don't believe it. It's part of a medical marijuana scam making the rounds in the state. The red and white yard signs are popping up everywhere. They advertise legal weed through an office visit for $1.99. If you call the number on the sign, Sheriff Rick Staley says the scammer will ask for your credit card and driver's license information for your medical marijuana purchase. But if you give the scammer that info, you'll be the one getting smoked. Medical marijuana is available in Florida by prescription only. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Flagler Beach Police need your help finding a gas station burglar. They say the man hit the Shell gas station on the 2500 block of Moody Boulevard on May 7th. He's described as a man between 20 and 25 years old wearing a black skull cap with a plastic hook hanger still attached. He was wearing gray basketball shorts with the name Jordan written on the back, a black t-shirt, and multicolored socks. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1-888-277-TIPS. An 87-year-old Palm Coast man has been reported missing from 29 Prince John Lane, Palm Coast. Mr. Miodrag Stodinovich is a white male, approximately 5'6 and 140 pounds. He has white hair and is balding. He wears glasses, has brown eyes, and was last seen wearing green pants and a dark short sleeve shirt. He has dementia and is believed to have crawled out of the window from his home at approximately 5.15 p.m. yesterday. If you see him, please call the Flagler County Sheriff's Office at 313-4911. Rich Carroll... WNZF Local News. Elections officials look to make voting easier in Flagler County, Ben Smith explains. Population growth is forcing county leaders to look at redrawing voting precinct boundaries. Flagler County Administrator Craig Coffey. I don't know where you ever had this question because I don't think it's ever really been a consideration of the county. The county elections office on Monday addressed the county commission with a plan to help balance voter loads across precincts. Election Supervisor Katie Lenhart. The precinct lines were not drawn here based upon party affiliation. That's why you can only do it based on census blocks. Along with several boundary shifts, the top third of precincts 9 and 10 would break away to form a new precinct 10 at the Flagler Airport. The current precinct 10 would become precinct 8. In Palm Coast, a new precinct 24 would split off from current precinct 23 and poll at Matanzas High School. The two new precincts would add $24,000 to the election cycle budget. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Ben Smith. Flagler Beach Police are producing sea dune educational cards being distributed to businesses in the city to protect the sand dunes. The gentle legal reminders include using the stairs, not removing or cutting any of the plants from the dunes, and remembering the main theme, according to Flagler Beach Police, is no plants, no dunes. No dunes, no beach. I'm Karen Johnson. Staying sharp all summer long and preparing for the next school year while building character. Those are the goals of a nationally recognized summer camp that's coming to Flagler Schools. It's being made possible through a partnership between Bethune-Cookman University and Inspire Our Youth. Together, they're bringing the Children Defense Fund's Freedom School to town. The summer camp is open to 10 students in grades 4 through 8. It increases kids' access to reading and books and helps them build leadership skills. The program runs from June 14th through July 26th from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Buddy Taylor Middle. Bus transportation is provided along with free breakfast and lunch. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.